Hello and welcome to this month's astrology. We enter the month of Capricorn just at the winter solstice on the 21st of December uh, when we move out of Sagittarius and into Capricorn. Now Capricorn is one of the most misunderstood signs of all of the zodiac really. It's an earth sign and they do tend to get written very badly about. So what you all have probably heard so far is hard working, challenge oriented, career minded, enduring, that kind of thing. But uh, Capricorn's not just a goat climbing up the mountain, it's actually the sea goat. And the sea goat tells the story of man's descent from spirit down to matter and climb back up to spirit again. So for anybody who's familiar with the Kabbalistic tree of life, this is the journey up the middle pillar from the base sphere of earth up to the crown sphere at the top. So the sea goat is actually a spiritual quest. It's actually walking on the straight and narrow and having the endurance to not get distracted and the discipline to make our way back up uh, to a more spiritual state of being. So that's what Capricorn actually stands for. And the qualities are very much uh, endurance. The winter goat on the side of the mountain, very little food, having to support itself at the hardest time of the year. So these are the qualities that these people born at this time do tend to uh, to give off. And even for my friends over in Australia and South Africa, when that's the hottest time of year, we've had discussions to say, well, it takes a lot of endurance to get out and still get to work and to still function when the sun is beating down and everybody else just wants to go to the beach. So it's the sign of endurance in harsh weather systems uh, where we are disciplined and we support ourselves and we make a plan, we set the steps, we have a goal to reach and we um, slowly proceed towards that goal with determination. So this is why many people try to set resolutions at this time of year because it's actually quite a dark time of year, the sun's only just being reborn and um, because it's seen as New Year then uh, people tend, tend to make plans to say what do I want to achieve this year, what are my goals and what do I need to do to achieve them. So we'll come to the new moon which will be a great time to do that in a minute but uh, we've just had a full moon in Cancer. So when the sun goes through a particular sign the full moon will be in the opposite sign so as the sun and Mercury and a num number of other planets actually start to make their way through Capricorn we'll have the full moon yesterday, 28th of December, in Cancer, total polar opposite. This tends to pull out things from the inside as the tug of war across the, across the skies happens. So Cancer is known for being empathetic, emotionally sensitive, nurturing, security-based, and is ruled by the moon itself, so waxing and waning in emotional tides, so it can often have... Um, different emotional state every two and a half days as the moon goes through all of the different signs in what we call a month. So Cancerians waxing and waning, water-based, feminine energy and said to be nurturing and empathetic. There's uh, a great deal of difference though between sympathy and empathy. Sympathy tends to add to somebody's problem saying poor you, you're a victim, let's wallow in this together. Whereas empathy is, I understand how you feel, and let's do something to uh, make your situation better. So quite a few Cancerians run the risk often of falling into that trap. Because they are so emotion-based and they enjoy their feelings so much, they can actually get addicted to certain states of emotion, even when they're not healthy. So for the next couple of days, while we're still under the auspices of this full moon in Cancer, it's a great time to judge whether your emotions are actually serving you or not whether what you're feeling is actually healthy. Because just like thoughts, feelings can be brought up for awareness, but we don't have to swim around in them forever. It's just a, a matter of awareness of what we're thinking and what we're feeling. And then sovereign Aquarian living, as we move forward into 2013, will be, is this serving me or not? Is this practical? What can I do with it? Uh, or am I caught up in the chemical release that all these emotions are having in my body and going round and round in circles or down the plug hole. So the message of this full moon in Cancer as we end the year of 2012 is to be a bit more resolute in uh, not just having our minds and our feelings 
and our heartstrings tugged by various media and um, different ways of being but to actually stand be a little bit more, more discerning and to say well are these my thoughts are these my feelings are these feelings good for me are they productive or am I just so used to them that I'm going back into that old pattern so a chance to break free there from uh, emotional programming uh, and actually become masters of our heart and our minds uh, so that we can live in, in more strength and integrity. So we get to the 11th of January, and this is when we have a very powerful new moon in Capricorn. The 1st of January actually for once does look like a good day to uh, set your intentions. We line up with Sirius on that day, that's why it is the new year. It's a serious alignment, it's nothing to do with our zodiac as such. But on that day, Mercury goes into Capricorn and says, OK, think ahead, make a plan, see what you want to achieve. And by the 11th of January, with the new moon, we have Venus, Pluto, Mercury, Sun and Moon all in Capricorn. So we've got a power two weeks um, coming up to the moon and a power two weeks coming out of the moon because the new moon starts a two week phase where we can set the wheels in motion so pretty much the whole of January for once is an absolutely fabulous time to set intentions and then see them happen but the feeling as we go forward we've come through this 2012 winter solstice uh, shift that people are talking about and the feeling now is that we need to become more magnetic in our approach to life so it's great to set goals, it's great to know what you want, but try not to visualise it as, and now I have to reach out and try hard to get it. It's away from me over there, somewhere in the future, and hard to reach. Because that's the more electro way of living, to, to strive, to be dynamic, to push forwards, to control, to reach out. And what we're looking at now as we kind of practice going into this uh, new eon, uh, and the age of Aquarius is to set our goals, to set them in the present tense, to actually feel them, and then to beam that feeling out, let go, and imagine it magnetizing towards us. So there's not so much control and effort needed, and uh, these are things that Capricorns find difficult to give up. So I think it will be quite testing on that level. Can you give up your control mechanisms? Can you become more magnetic? as we go between this beautiful Cancer full moon and Capricorn new moon. Where is your balance between thinking that things have to be difficult or things naturally come to you? Where's your attitude towards abundance? What's your relationship with health and money? Do you see life as a struggle? Or are you completely surrounded with everything you need in the present moment? So we're starting the year really in uh, quite a deep fashion and learning to live in a completely different way. So try to remember to be magnetic. Things come to you when you're transmitting the correct frequency. So if you can't feel it, you won't get it. So the first place of call is to go into the heart centre to feel what it is that you want and the joy that it will bring to you and others. And to really feel that vibration, to send it out and then to let go and allow that to magnetise towards you. All you need to do then is just notice the doors as they open and step through them at the right time. So that's it for this month, full moon in Cancer leading into a new moon in Capricorn as we're in the month of the sea goat and we're looking at making that spiritual journey from base to crown, raising our vibration and living in a completely different fashion, making our lives much more enjoyable, powerful and uh, productive so that's it have a wonderful month and i'll uh, rejoin you in the month of aquarius